Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 3 of I'm in Love with the Villainous. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also because you get to be with your future girlfriend. Love is a series of ups and downs. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, once again, you underestimate her, Claire. <laughs> I was about to call it Chloe. <laughs> yeah, and besides, you play chess with them, so you already know their moves ins and out. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's wrong? He's so pretty. Ah. <laughs> mhm. Mm I mean, he's just being generous. He didn't have to say anything to you, though. <laughs> Yeah. 
See, something also tells me that Misha has a thing for you. I mean, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they look cute together. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. Aww. But then, yeah, she might still have feelings for him, too. He's such the cutest flirt ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Claire. Duh. <laughs> no. Yeah, and I don't think we want that. What are you here? Hold up, wait. Uh, I love the fact that she just called her by her name and then went right back to commoner. Oh, God. Oh, no, no!
Oh my god. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes, no matter what. Uh, ain't that funny? <laughs> of course she rigged it. <laughs> like, I'm never washing my hair again. She does, but she's trying to do everything in her possible way to just, you know, help Claire. You know. She's right. No. Yeah, I mean, because you really enjoyed that. <laughs> Damn, we, we asking the question right then and there.
Well, yeah, we're curious. Right. You know that. It's just a question. She's right. <laughs> hmm. Oh, of course not. It's too easy. <laughs> right? Yeah, but you still love her though, right? Okay, but just seeing her happy is one of your goals. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> But there's nothing wrong with that. She can't help the way she feels. And she shouldn't have to change herself for everyone else.
Oh, Claire! What? No. Right. Mm, okay. I don't think she hates you, baby. She tolerates you. <laughs> oh, we know that. But, okay, I, I love the fact that they ended up talking about this today, especially with the fact is because you didn't really know if, you know, Ray outside of this, like, yes, yeah, she really is in love with, you know, Claire, but it does make you wonder, like, yeah, what her past was like before she fell in love with Claire. Like, was she always um someone who was attracted to women or did she have feelings for guys before she finally realized, no, I like women and such. And so the fact that she's like, no, I think I've always liked women. That is okay. There really is nothing wrong with people liking the opposite sex. Me, I'm a girl who likes me some men, regardless at the end of the day and such. I can sit and talk with my girlfriends um, about guys and stuff. There are some girls we've talked about and like how pretty everyone looks and stuff. But I'm always like, as I told my friends in high school, um, I remember this one girl who I knew, we were like really good friends. She slowly but surely started coming on to me and I had to tell her, I was like, hey, I I completely understand your feelings, but I don't go that way. Like, unfortunately, I love me some dudes and such. And even though my my department of love has not been the greatest, like, yes, I've had three guys, three boyfriends, and the only one who I've really said I've loved you to is my la my most recent person, which was like what two years, two three years ago. Um, the other ones I could say I love you and just not mean anything. But with my third person, I was really genuinely head over heels in love with him to the point where it's like, you know how, and I think almost every girl, guy possibly does this as well. Um, you kind of imagine your life together with him and such. It was funny enough because like yesterday on Twitter, I, I saw this random ass tweet saying like, stop imagining, um every scenario with a guy, a person that, like, you literally just met that barely even knows, like, of your existence. They only know of you for just this moment and such. And one girl was like, I can't help it. It just happens. And, and I get that. I mean, I do, I feel like I do that a lot more with my anime men because anime men, <laughs> anime men can't hurt you and such. So, mm. <laughs> but um, with him, I was really, like I said, head over heels in love with him. Like, Truly to the point where I was like, I could see myself honestly being with this guy for a really long time, da 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 um, having kids with him and such, and then, you know, he got, uh, long story short, he ended up ghosting my ass. And now I am the type of girl who I'm like, I like love, but fuck love and such. I don't want to be in a relationship right now. I just want to be on my own. And even as of now, I am okay with being on my own. 
Um, because we all know the right one will come when we're quote unquote ready and such. But I do also love the fact that, you know, Claire really defended Ray on this and such. The two girls who were like talking smack a lot about her and such. And she's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and dump, I mean, dump tea on these two bitches. But that also kind of slowly but surely tells you that, yes, Claire is falling for Ray in her own special way, like we've talked about before, where it's like, I do feel like in the next couple of weeks, she is going to slowly but surely realize, like, oh, shit, I'm kind of in love with this girl, too. Or it might be, like, um, the one show that, whose name that I cannot remember that I reacted to. The, uh, the relationship with the princess and I think the, um, the magician. Where, yes, yeah, she fell in love with her, like, every single week. But it wasn't really until the last episode where she truly told her, um how she really felt, and then those two proceeded to just, you know, do whatever they had to do, do nasty and such. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a really interesting episode. Love the fact that, you know, once again, all three princes got to have a screen time moment with Ray and Claire and, and such. <laughs> Ray doing the King's Game with them, the poker scenario, and the chess scenario, bruh. <laughs> like, oh my god. But I like okay. I I know like Claire is so in love with Fane. I mean yes, look at him. He's gorgeous. He he's like I said, all three of the types that I would date if I was ever playing an Atoma game and literally try to go for. Cause like Fane kind of gives me, mm, no, not really Zen feels. Uh, it's such he he gives me feels to some uh some guy. I I just literally cannot remember right now. But yeah, they're all like they're all good looking. If I could choose one, I mean, I'd do it in a heartbeat and stuff. That's, like, how I felt with, um, Katarina's villainous show and her freaking big-ass group of harem people. And I'm like, damn, like, there's so many people in this group who I would really go for in a heartbeat because they're all so freaking pretty and, and such. And it's just like, oh, my God, you want them all together. But, you know, that can't happen. There's only, there's always one. Just fucking one. <laughs> we can't have a group. Well, unless... But yeah, this was a very interesting episode. Loved it a lot. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode three of I'm in Love with the Villainous. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode four. Bye, guys.